Yeah, so we, uh, we've been invited to give a presentation to um, the Rugby World Cup Council, so we're in the process of preparing that at the moment. The uh, Rugby World Cup have, uh, well, R World Rugby have presented a, um, uh, a summary of each of the bids, so each of the council members receives that summary. We go in on the morning, do a presentation for half an hour, um, and then council vote um, on their decision between New Zealand and Australia who's going to host the World Cup. Uh, well, we know that we've put our best foot forward from an engaging point of view. Uh, you know, we know that Australia is respected as a, a, a country and Rugby Australia is uh, respected as an organisation that can put on big events. So I think we tick all of those boxes. It shows that we're doing the Women's World Cup as an evolution of what we're already doing, what we've already got in place. So I think that is an important part of it. And one of the things about the hosting a Women's World Cup is the legacy that it leaves, not just for rugby in Australia and women's rugby in Australia, but also in the in this region um, and I think that's an important part of the presentation is making sure that we talk about the legacy elements that um, hosting a Rugby World Cup in Australia would bring. We're certainly very confident we've put a very strong bid forward, um, particularly from the support that we've got from our governments um, um, and that puts us in a really good space to, uh, you know, to be really firm and proud of what we're presenting.